Hey everybody, and welcome back to Expedition Engineering. Last video, what we did is we got the bimini down, we got the stern rail down, and we got our rear legs mounted. Yes! And then we worked on the dodger legs. Then we wanted to go sailing, because we got our new sails. So we took the legs back down, reinstalled the stern rail. We didn't put the bimini back up, just because that's way too much work. Went sailing, had a blast, and now it's time to put the legs back on, get our measurements dialed in, and start working on the actual hardtop. Today, Today is a very big day. We are about to install temporarily the arch legs. We're gonna we're gonna bolt them to the back of the boat so that they stand up on their own. And then we're gonna probably use some duct tape and we are gonna put our foam arch that is holding the curve from our mold that we made. M mold, M-O-U-L-D-E? Mold? At the shop. It has the shape of the curve of our hard top so we can put it on the arch take a step back and say, do we like this? Does this look good? Before we continue. And then we're gonna take some final measurements so that we can start doing the rest of it. AKA the actual hard top. Oh wait, shoot, I took it off the wrong holes. <laughs> ah. We're going for efficiency today. Not like we don't usually do that, but I feel like we're actually might achieve it today. <laughs> yeah, I think these are wrong, or at least that one is. It's totally cockeyed like this. All right, let's see it. Here's our arches. Just did a preliminary view of it and did a bunch of rechecking of our measurements to make sure we have the angles and we're pretty spot on. I mean, everything has a little bit of wiggle to it because it just has two little tiny bolts and a lot of it's taped together. So uh, Obviously it, some there's, <laughs> there's some wiggle, but all things considered, we are dang close to what we drew out and calculated and all that. So I'm gonna call that a win. Now we gotta figure out how to get down with this. So what's the next problem, Brett? So the next, here, hang on. Paddleboard gymnastics. The last thing we want is for this to just look like a big box. I actually don't hate it. Yeah? I think it looks pretty awesome. It makes the boat look big. We don't want to get to the end and have our dinghy not fit on our dinghy davit because we really like our dinghy. And so there's the very, very front. Okay. So if we took off, if we angle it in two inches on each side, Maybe we'll look kind of a lot of angle. Let's go try it. It's an interesting game because we want our dinghy to sit snug because we don't want it to like wobble around. It wants, we want to be able to snug up against the legs. Wobble we don't want it to wobble around. Oh, wobble around. Mm -hmm. Okay, excuse me. He Get just laid down. Excuse me, see. This time of day, usually he just has the whole space to sunbathe and we're all up in his space. It's like, excuse me, this is my room. They said to film my face. <laughs> wow. Does it doesn't look better? It does. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I think that looks a lot better than this. Hiding back inside because it is hot. And we are not used to hotness and heat and warmth. Yeah, and sunshine. Sun it's like it went from, I mean, we had the heater on yesterday to today. It's wearing too many clothes always. Gotta head back to the place of the power tools and begin the next project because tonight we're gonna, tonight, 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 we're gonna start up the hard top. I think this might be the last time because after this, we're gonna have a big hard top and that's definitely not gonna fit in here. And then we're gonna have to, I don't know, steal a truck or something. <gasps> that is, or something. Bike delivery. Let's do this. Yep, bike delivery. I may have just run into a tree. That is one half of the aft 
portion from, from behind the arch. Wow, we're really tired. It's midnight. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go home. Look how distorted it is because it's on like super, super wide until it's like. It might be stuck to the floor. <laughs> We have a lot of cleanup to do, and then we still need to add the angle to our beam so that it will match the legs and be kind of a seamless integration. Yeah, that beam is the rear arch. Yes. It'll go into the legs. And that curve's intentional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so we got our kind of our grid going on in the section. You know, you guys know how much we love internal grid structures, and so, yeah, might as well just keep it going underneath and up top. This is going to be a rain trough, rain catch. Chance it was working. No way. It's gotta be like a 5% chance. Oh, okay. Five. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're back. It's the next day. I had to bail out yesterday while we were vacuum bagging because Dingo had to go to the vet. But while I was gone doing that, Jade stayed here and worked on this because it didn't, it didn't work the way we wanted it to. The main issue was that as it was vacuum bagging, it was distorting the shape because it was vacuum bagging to itself and not actually to the form because the form so isn't it was like airtight. Picking up the edges. This was like, <laughs> yeah. So we couldn't vacuum bag it, but by not vacuum bagging it, then our glass and our carbon wasn't gonna. Sorry. <laughs> then our glass and our carbon wasn't going to be able to make the radiuses um, because it was just one big sheet going so I had to cut it all up into tiny squares and make the radiuses manually um, which was fine but now we'll just have to do a secondary layup and then maybe figure out a better option for the for next time for next time so where she cut so she sliced it yeah that's sharp so she sliced down here oh really sharp let's see how stiff it is yeah let's get all this plastic off that's going to be a pain has done what looks like a fabulous job. I haven't looked close yet. Look, that does look good. It does look good. Doesn't this look right? Just looks right. Just right. Now we need to see how stiff it is. Nice. See it, it's stiffer. Significantly. Here, come out and hold on this side. <laughs> That's how much it weighs. Last night I spent some time making the curve. All right, so where does that live on here? Yeah, I don't think it's too far down the sides curved. I know you were worried about that, but I think it's about what our bimini was. Yeah, this is actually, and this needs to get cut a little bit. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's gonna be just fine. 
Nice. I just want to watch this. It's satisfying. Oh, so good. We trimmed the the very aft side of this piece. It was just too big. And this will definitely help with the concerns of windage and just having unsupported hard top you know, being exposed. So uh, it decreases the amount of real estate we have for solar, for rain catch, all those things. But yeah, if we lose 200 watts of solar, but, but then, that, but it looks better and it is more likely that it won't break, which <laughs> would ruin, you know, 2000 watts of solar. <laughs> so yeah, I think today's gonna be, a, today's a positive. Today's We're moving like a five steps forward. I five thought. steps forward. Maybe as long as tomorrow we don't have to do all of it. That's the thing, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's what happened with here is that when we did part of the layup, it didn't work. So then we had to spend an entire day sanding and fairing and then re-glassing. And it's, you know when you're free diving and you hit that point where you're actually now sinking without having to kick, we're there. That's a good thing. Which is a good thing if you're free diving. It, it, not if you're good if you're trying not to drown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys. <laughs> We just spent a while leveling this whole thing. Probably something we should have done before, but our level is broken. One of our neighbors let us borrow theirs. And so we got it perfectly leveled. So I'm curious now if the part that we already built is still gonna fit on this form. We trust I think it'll be okay. Too much. We've potentially just finished the other half of this most rear portion of the hardtop build. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. Deal day. This is a deal day. This episode is brought to you by Words Are Hard. <laughs> Somebody commented that in one of our earliest build videos when we had pulled an all-nighter, or maybe three, and we're having a hard time with words, and it was just... It's stuck. Yeah, we just, we, we quote that comment. So whoever that commenter was, like you introduced that into our house. Yep, today is one of those days. Nice. It's got a good curve to it. This looks, looks nice. That peeled off so nice. This is the best part. Wow, that left such a nice finish, though. Yeah, it did. That is such a nice that finish. That is beautiful. <gasps> That's going to make sanding and fairing and painting so much easier. Not much wobble at all. A little bit. A little bit. But I think once we finish it. Yes, this is not finished. The edges haven't been glassed, so of course there's gonna be some wobble. And also there is the side curve, which is gonna create a ton of rigidity. We still need to connect these two halves, but once we trimmed off that back section and made it a little bit shorter, it stiffened it up a lot. And we really like the distance now of how far it hangs off the back of the boat. I think it's really going to make the boat actually look a lot better and not look like a big long extension on the back of the boat. But once we get the fairing all in there and get this carbon on there, I think it's going to be plenty stiff, especially once we add on the curves on the outside and on the back and get the rain trough all glassed in there. This is going to be epic. That was a lot of glass. And that is the end of our epoxy that we have here at the shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been quite the process, getting this hard top all figured out, getting all the stringers run and everything. And we still have a lot of testing to see if it's actually going to work. But if you liked it, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, real quick again, thank you for watching, but really the reason I'm coming to you now is because there is something really, really special that's gonna be happening in one week from today on, what is that, July 14th, uh, next Sunday. 
there's going to be a fundraiser to try and help out to raise money and awareness for risegrenada.org, which is pooling a bunch of money to try and help the islands right around Grenada after the destruction from Hurricane Burl. Now, this is special because a ton of us sailing channels have gotten together. It is not organized by us, we are merely participants. A bunch of us YouTubers will be together streaming, live streaming, live chatting. You can come and you can be part of that live chat. You can be asking us questions, hanging out with us. We'll be chatting, uh, answering your questions live, us and a whole bunch of other channels. I'll put the information in the description because it would take me too long to describe it all. And I don't quite comprehend how it all is going to work, but it is going to work. I really hope. There's also a GoFundMe. We've donated, a bunch of the channels have donated, a bunch of people have donated. We're really trying to help out. None of the money that is raised is going to us or any of the channels involved. It's all going to be directly to help those islands. So I'm going to encourage you to check that out, to look in the description, find the links, and go, go help out. And we will see you uh, next Sunday when we can chat and hang out. So thank you guys, appreciate it.